fuck? I would go one step further and tell the everyone to also make sure Al I spawned underwater. I submit myself to observation, then he should do the same. If he refuses and makes him look like he has something to hide, and if he agrees, that when no Kira murders are reported during this time in confinement, he will look just as suspicious. This gives us more freedom to control the situation because Al will be no mods, no nothing. And he might have to <laughs> I've changed my Minecraft name to homosexual instead of bisexual. Anna, will you stop? Anna, I know, I know you like strings. <laughs> Nearly every cat does, but really, <sighs> now you do it. Before you weren't doing it any time. Now when I'm recording, eh? Not all this let you. So, oh, 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 don't spank me. Do not spank me again. Uh. Don't judge me, I'm a YouTuber. We make jokes. Hey, girl. Hey, boy. Yeah, get sucking. Oh, hey, yo, boy. Bro, what did I do to you? What did I do to you? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? Did I break? Oh no, I didn't break it. I'm just too powerful. I go. That pizza up. Alright, let's get some trees. 311. Just add six to it now. Now you got something real explosive. Not even Obama could stop it. 21 Savage. Bab babbage, cabbage, lavage. I'm a cabbage patch kid. I'm a cabbage patch. I'm a cabbage patch kid. I'm a cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. I'm a savage, savage, cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. Tell me, cabbage, savage. I'm a boy. I don't know, but it's been 12 days since they caught Misa here, and seven days since Light turned himself in. The confinement becomes unbearable, and Light here finally gets up his death note and tells Ryuk the code phrase to wipe his memory. He passes out, but when he wakes up, he tells the team that he knows he's not Kira and declares they will finally put a stop to the killer. But this was all a part of Light's plan. Later that night, the reporter Kiyomi is on her balcony when a death note lands next to her. She picks it up and sees the death god who tells her that she's been given a special gift and Rem will teach her how to use it. The reporter opens her death note and starts writing. Criminals from all over Japan start dropping dead and in greater numbers than ever before. Meanwhile, the reporter Kiyomi has been proving herself at the news station with her coverage of the murder spree, but the anchor woman is jealous of the attention and lets her know it. But Kiyomi here doesn't take criticism well at all. On her way back home, she gets run over by a semi-truck and dies, leaving Kiyomi here as the new anchor. At the investigation headquarters, Light and Misa have been let out of their cells, but are still being held here. He's no longer believed to be Kira, and the investigation team is looking for a new suspect, but he might have a clue. Light here has found evidence that this new Kira is a woman who is associated with Sakura TV, like their new anchor woman, Kiyomi. 
Arriving back home, Kiyomi here has no idea that her place has been bugged. The investigators watch her writing into a notebook, and when they get a closer look, they discover the names of Kira's most recent victims, along with the names of criminals that are still alive. The only way to prove she's the killer is to let these people die, but Light here comes up with a plan for the investigators to catch the woman. Okay, this all seems very clever, but now the investigators know that this was done with supernatural powers, and that gives them a lot more to work with because their investigation is no longer bound by what is physically possible. With this knowledge, Elle still has a reason to suspect that Light could be involved somehow. Now we have to use a death note to mislead the investigation, so I would make several fake copies of the death note, write the names of my past kills inside them, spread them to several people throughout the city, and help with the investigation to those books. It will give them too many answers that don't add up. And in the meantime, I'll be able to get the original death note back while derailing the entire investigation. The next day, she receives a call from a man who reveals he has a recording of her using the death note and offers her the tape in exchange for 5 million yen. When she goes home, she finds secret cameras and microphones hidden around her unit as the police get confirmation that the criminal's name she wrote down yesterday have died. They have their woman. Later that night, she finds out that the man has gone to her news station and plans on revealing her identity, and she has an hour and 25 minutes before she's exposed. She makes a deal with Rem to have the eyes of a death god so she can find this man's name and kill him. And with her new abilities, she goes to the TV station. She arrives on the set of the news broadcast and falls right into Light's trap. She's blinded by the lights and tackled to make sure she can't see their faces. Elle here reveals she had been watching a fake broadcast and the police chief demands to know how she killed people. She tells him she writes the names in a notebook and dares him to try it. Elle touches the book and sees a death god for himself. But when Light takes it from the detective, all his memories come rushing back to him. His master plan has worked, and now he can finish what he started. He had Rem create a fake rule stating you must kill someone every 13 days or else they die. Rem used this rule to trick Yomi to continue her killings while Light was being confined, making it clear that he wasn't Kira. Okay, now we've regained access to the death note and all of our memories. The problem is, everyone else knows about the death god, but there's still a way to use this to our advantage here against L. If Rem has already done this much for us, we can also use her to lie, telling the investigators that L was the person who first possessed the death note. Then, I would have Ryu plant Light's original death note among L's personal items, making it look like he's the original Kira, and the reporter was the second. The other investigators might think L was trying to use the second Kira as a way to solve the case without revealing himself to be the killer, and they'll arrest him. The investigators realize the public won't believe the supernatural explanation, but Elle is adamant that if they prove how this works, they can get her executed. While the rest of the team is distracted, Light here uses a piece of paper from the death note he hid in his watch to kill Kiyomi and gain ownership of the book. The Lint classic recipe, exceptionally smooth. Alright guys, during ads, we're gonna have an ad break. Or, or, cause I'm a, I'm a minor, I'm a minor 49er. I'm, I'm the boss of the boss boss nigga. This is going on Omelette Arcade and on YouTube. They call them boss, boss now. I'm I'm finally accepting my middle school persona. As that dude. I'm gonna call myself that dude. The YouTuber uh, Cub Scout. No, he's not. He's he's not a Cub Scout member. That is literally what he calls himself. He plays video games. That sounds sounds like a fucking sailor. But I'm now. You can call me that black dude. That black dude. Now, That's my persona. I know. At the end of every video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say bye because I'm that. Black dude. It was just on the black. It is. It is not racist. If you, if you say it about yourself. It's. I mean, it's still racist. But let. What the? F you saw how I landed. There. Mm. All right. This goes on two platforms because I'm, uh, I'm smart. I'm, I'm smart. I don't know what I do with bringing the zombie into the water. Before we attack each other and tear ourselves to shreds like pack maniacs, 
let's just open the sack first and see what's actually in it. It might not even be worth the trouble. Oh, yeah, that's worth it. Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Well, it's just worth it. It was absolutely worth it. Seven, eight. You might say fairies aren't real, but fairy flies beg to differ. They are flying around us all the time, but they largely go unnoticed thanks to their own kind of magic miniaturization. This group includes the smallest insects on the planet, and scientists are eagerly studying them in the hopes of learning more of their teeny tiny secrets. If you haven't heard of fairy flies, it's not because they're rare. There are around 1,400 species of these delicate little wasps. That's right. They are wasps, not flies. Poor choice of name. Anyhow, they live practically everywhere. It's just that you don't see them because they're tiny. Most species are about a millimeter long, and the smallest ones are around a sixth or a seventh of a millimeter, roughly the size of a single-celled paramecium. What makes this especially mind-blowing is that as creatures go, flying insects are actually pretty complex. They got most of the same organ systems we do, plus wings and cute little articulated legs. That fairy flies can pack all of that into a body that's literally microscopic feels supernatural. Now it is not, of course, it's just some extreme adaptation. In fact, experts think fairy flies may be about as small as insects can get. And they got some pretty neat tricks to reach such minuscule proportions. For starters, their bodies are a little simpler than those of their larger kin. Like they have most of the normal parts, but structures like legs and antenna tend to have fewer segments. Their circulatory and respiratory systems can be a lot simpler too. Since gases and nutrients don't have as far to go, fairy flies can rely more on diffusion, and the smallest species forgo blood vessels and even hearts. But not everything can be simplified. In some cases, being small means making compromises. Take sight, for instance. Since space is so limited on their tiny heads, they've cut down the size and number of facets in their compound eyes. Each one is now so small that it's near the limit of what's physically needed to bend and absorb light, so it doesn't capture the clearest images, and fewer of them means they have lower visual acuity than most insects. So, they rely more on smell to get around. The males of some species have actually ditched their eyes altogether along with other bits of their bodies, like their wings and their mouth parts. Because if you live just a few days, you don't need to eat. That gets them down to just one-seventh of a millimeter, making them the smallest adult insects, period. It's not just the super micro males that have ditched wings. Some whole species do without them, especially ones that live in windy habitats like on oceanic islands. The wings of the ones that do fly are much smaller and cuter than other insect wings. They're oar-shaped, with a frill around the edge that looks like something between a row of eyelashes and a feather. These bizarre wings mine. likely work.